In this problem, we're asked to find an equation to represent each table as a sequence. So in these tables, n represents what term number it is. So for example, the third term is negative 2. Let's look at the first table. I notice that 4 minus 3 is 1, and 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And negative 2 minus 3 would be negative 5. Each time we're decreasing by 3. So this is an arithmetic sequence. Once you know the pattern, like this pattern for example, is it's subtract 3 to get the next term, it's easy to write the recursive equation. So the recursive equation here, to get the next term, just take your current term and subtract 3. So let's say we have the second term. So if this said t of 2, the second term is 1 and 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So the third term, this would say t of 3, is negative 2. Now when you write a recursive equation, you can't just give the equation. You have to give a starting term, because this would actually define a lot of different sequences. In fact, any sequence where each term decreases by 3. So let's give a starting term. The first term here, the first term is 4. So this pair of equations would be the recursive equation to represent this table as a sequence. On this next one, our first term is 6, then 7.2, then 8.64. Now I don't think this is arithmetic because from 6 to 7.2 is an additional 1.2, but from 7.2 to 8.64 is not an additional 1.2. If it was, this term would be an 8.4. So I suspect this is probably geometric. One way to check is if I take 7.2 and I divide it by 6. So if I take this term and divide it by the previous term, I end up with 1.2. All right. Let's check the next thing. If I take 8.64 and I divide that by 7.2, so now I'm taking this term and dividing the previous term, I actually also get 1.2. So it appears that to get the next term, we multiply by 1.2. 6 times 1.2 is 7.2. 7.2 times 1.2 is 8.64. And actually, if you keep going, 8.64 times another 1.2 would be 10.3. 6, 8. So let's write the recursive equations for this one. To find the next term, take the previous term and multiply by 1.2. And just like above, we need to give a starting term. So we can say the first term is 6. Now in this problem, it didn't specify if it wants recursive or explicit equations. So we're actually going to do both. If we go back to the first problem, and I'm going to reproduce the table here. So let's see, the first term was 4, second term was 1, the third term was negative 2, and the fourth term was negative 5. What I actually am interested in is the zeroth term, usually called the initial term. So to get the next term, I'm subtracting 3, minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. If I want to go up in the table, instead of subtracting 3, I need to do the opposite. I need to add 3. So negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2, plus 3 is 1, plus 3 is 4, plus 3 is 7. The initial term is actually 7. That's where this starts off. So let's look at this a different way. If this term is 7 and the next term is a 4, 4 is 7 minus 3. Now the 1 is actually 7 minus 3, but then minus another 3. Because the 7 minus 3 would get us to the 4, but we have to subtract another 3 to get to the 1. Down here would be 7 minus 3 minus 3 and minus another 3. By the time we get to negative 5, we have 7 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 and minus another 3. We're subtracting lots of 3's by that time. 
But notice everything starts with that 7, that initial term. Now I'm going to simplify this. When you have repeated subtraction or repeated addition, you could represent that as multiplication. So this right here is 7. This is 7 minus 1, 3. This is 7 minus 2 threes, because we have 1, 2. This is 7 minus 3 threes. And this is 7 minus 4 threes. Now there's something interesting here. Do you notice this 1, 2, 3, 4 corresponds with the term numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4. That gives us some insight on the explicit equation. So the explicit equation actually is To find a term, you take 7 and you subtract n times 3 from it. See, when n is 4, we need to subtract 4 threes. But we need to rewrite this uh, with better mathematical notation. So we'll just write it like this. That's the explicit equation right there. Let's look at the other table and see if we can do something similar. So I'm going to reproduce um, the table from B. So the first term was 6, the second term was 7.2, and the third term was 8.64. Now we saw that to get the next term we multiply by 1.2. If we want to go this way we have to divide by 1.2. So this divided by 1.2 is this, this divided by 1.2 is this, 6 divided by 1.2 is actually 5. So our initial term, our zeroth term, is 5. Now let's figure out what's going on here so we can determine the explicit equation. This first, or the initial term is just a 5. The next term is a 5 times a 1.2. That gives us 6. To get the next term, it's 5 times 1.2, oops, 1.2, times another 1.2. And our next term is 5 times 1.2, times 1.2, times another 1.2. Now if we simplify this, repeated multiplication can be expressed with an exponent. So 5, this would be 5 times 1.2 to the first power. This would be 5 times 1.2 to the second power, and this would be 5 times 1.2 to the third power. Notice these exponents correspond with the term numbers. That gives us insight on how to write the explicit equation. So the explicit equation for this one is a term is equal to 5 times 1.2 to the n.